Today on Toy Shoes, we're hanging out with Pat and Oswald's Talking Head. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shoes here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we're totally checking out the brand new Marvel Legends Deluxe Build-A-Figure, but it's not really a Build-A-Figure anymore. Now they just put them in one snazzy box. This is the MODOK action figure. This is for the new era of Marvel Legends, as was the previous MODOK. That was the Build-A-Figure. Nice, beautiful box. This is awesome. Stellar. Shows off everything. Has gorgeous looking artwork all over it. Very cool. Stands out on the shelf. Can't say enough nice things about it. And to top it all off, there's a pretty cool figure inside. Not going to lie. And here's the barcode if you want to go ahead and grab it. This has started hitting Target store shelves a bit back but because of the new TV show, we're going to be talking about this now. And if you don't know who Modoc is, well, yeah, he pretty much looks like this. He's a mental organism designed only for killing or whatever it is. But hey, there's a new Marvel's Modoc that's going to be hitting May 21st, only on Hulu. And it's a comedy show. It's taking the... <laughs> the goofiness of Modoc and making a show out of it. So, yeah, have my attention. I'm interested to see some new stuff. Yeah, it's not like the comic book stuff, but, hey, you know, it could be funny. And it does look funny. And it's by Stupid Buddy Studios. So, in that sense, I am stoked. So, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice, giant-sized cup of coffee for that big old head of yours. This is a look at the brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends Deluxe Modoc action figure. And here's old Modoc out of the packaging, and it just doesn't even—it doesn't even come packaged correctly. You have to build it, so you—you you are building a build a figure, basically. Ah, jeez, I swear. So I'm paying, then I have to build it on top of it. God, don't put Legos around me anytime soon. But yeah, several pieces, hands, all that good stuff. Let's speed this up and get through it. I'm not going to lie. This was a lot harder to put together for some reason, looking at the camera doing it. So it's fairly easy. It's very straightforward. There's not much to it. And there's a lot of pieces and there's a lot to assemble, but it does have some nifty storage. I'll tell you that. And so, of course, once you have everything assembled correctly, you do get one stellar looking Modoc figure. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, I built that build figure way back in the day. It's not gonna show up in this video because I cannot find it for the life of me, but I'll have other Modocs and stuff <laughs> to show off. Everybody's rolling their eyes right now. But this thing, it's beautifully, it's got a beautiful heft to it. This is a nice big figure. The face, the details, the colors. Now, it's not as detailed as the old Toy Biz one. I still think that that one is an awesome figure. This one just fits more in line with more modern Marvel Legends. It's very clean. It's very cut. It does lose that like hand-designed look that the Toy Biz ones have. And this one looks very much computer sculpted. However, it's awesome. So I got no qualms with it. If you are a MODOK fan or Marvel Legends fan, yeah, you're going to be stoked. You do get some articulation a little bit every which way you can kind of pop this thing off. This kind of gives you like you have like the Professor X recolored stand basically. And then you have this red piece flip it over kind of looks like a a flower, you know what I mean? But that's like the plasma blast energy thing that's coming out of the base right there. So it'll kind of rock. This will spin as well. So you can spin them around in the chair. Nice paint, nice deco. You got the honeycomb. You got really nice hair on him. Pumpkin pie haircut right there, with the <laughs> which is really cool. This is nifty, though. I'll tell you this all day. It has storage in the back. So in 30 years, when you find one of these at a yard sale, that'll be the thing. Like, oh, please have all the hands and the face plate and everything else. So swappable hands, really nicely done. Extra head right in the back. Keep it safe. Keep it with you. Don't have to lose it. Yada, yada. Yeah, and then I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this Modoc figure. But yeah, the faceplate just kind of comes right out. It works. It stays in there fine. And then, yeah, simple, easy peasy. It's like a little rectangle. And that pops in just like that. You got the open mouth. You got the closed mouth. I think it would have been really cool to coincide with the show and have like uh, an animated Modoc for the new show. Maybe, maybe later down the line, you can just have a, a pack of Modoc's faces, right? Here he is with the old Toy Biz 1. The Toy Biz, the old Iron Man, the animated series, was wackadoo. They kind of sort of changed it a little bit. So you get to see the nice differences between the two. You got missile firing action on one and 
yeah, just a really nice sculpt on the other. And then if you've been collecting all the AIM soldiers for some time now, yeah, you can have some really nice photos, nice funny things on your shelf with them. They are quite the comic relief to them, right? And, and if anything, that's kind of like the show from the previews and everything else. Here he is with some old Toy Biz Iron Man, the animated series figures. And there is some new Iron Man coming up in modular armor. So that'll go ni really nice if you want to do a whole animated setup. And let me know in the comments below. I do have plans to do it, but I still need a few more figures. But yeah, if you want to see Iron Man, the animated series, the way I do Spider-Man, the animated series, retro shiz vids. Yeah, let me know in the comments below. I just have a few more to get. So um, yeah, that I, I think it'd be fun to look at those. And then just to kind of show off the scale with other Marvel Legends figures, Iron Man, Spider-Man's Avengers, everything will match up really nicely. It's cool to see a new MODOK. I'll tell you that. It's a very nice MODOK. The articulation works. I love the storage on this thing. The burst of energy from the bottom, the stand. It works really, really well. You can tell they put some love into it. And I like the package and everything else. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about this MODOK. And will you be watching the new animated series? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything MODOK. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, how awesome would it have been if one of the little accessories was Elf from the animated series? <laughs> that show was bat poop crazy. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.